author once wrote that if he couldn't be a preacher, there was nothing he'd rather do than have the next generation of pastors in his classroom. Luther knew he wouldn't live forever, and so needed to ensure the gospel message he was spreading be left in the hands of the next generation. In the summer of 1530, Luther's colleagues were involved in a fight with politicians to try to keep the Reformation agenda afloat. Meanwhile, Luther focused on furthering changes amongst the clergy. At the heart of his push was creating an educated clergy. Why? Well, in Luther's time, in many areas of Europe, less than a third of the clergy had a university education. As surprising as it is to us now, the majority of clergy were appointed out of political or financial interests, not because they had a sound theological education. Luther set out to change that, and change it he did. In a matter of a few decades, the landscape had changed significantly, and the vast majority of pastors were educated in much the way they are today. Not long after Luther died, the number of educated clergy went from one-third to as much as nine out of ten. So what did Luther want these students to know? First and foremost, he wanted them to know true doctrine. He insisted that they be able and willing to learn the Bible, to read the scriptures for themselves, and to teach and preach in a clear and understandable way. Luther knew, too, the challenges and pitfalls awaiting the pastors, and so counseled them and gave them the tools that would allow them to spite the devil and comfort the Christian souls under their care. All of this was said and done so you can remember, a mighty fortress is our God.